What happens when a nuclear startup claims that it can turn recycled waste into clean power for data centers, governments, and even the entire AI ecosystem? Well, there's a company that proposes just that, and they're getting the right kind of attention. But many investors are still asking themselves, can they actually generate revenue before dilution, delays, or nuclear hurdles start pushing investors away? Well, today, I'm looking at Oclo, its reactor, strategy, the risks, and whether this early-stage nuclear play is a breakthrough or a gamble. Now, if you're new to the channel, hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999, and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That is a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by almost six times. Go to fool.com slash Rico to get your 10 stock picks right now. Oclo is a nuclear energy company that's based in Santa Clara, California. Instead of just designing reactors, Oclo plans to build, own, and operate them itself. The long-term model is built around power purchase agreements that create recurring revenue and keep execution under Oclo's control. The Aurora Powerhouse is a small, fast fission reactor that's designed to provide up to 15 megawatts of dependable, carbon-free power. And it can run on, get this, recycled nuclear waste. And it gets to tap into energy that traditional reactors leave unused. This technology is the core of Oclo's business. With demand rising and Agreements already in place with utilities, data centers, industrial customers, and even government partners, Oclo aims to deploy its first Aurora powerhouse by late 2027 or early 2028. On December 4th, Oclo disclosed an at-the-money market equity distribution agreement allowing it to issue up to $1.5 billion of Class A shares. Because Oclo is still pre-revenue, this shows just how much capital is required to commercialize advanced nuclear reactors. But raising that much equity also means meaningful dilution risk for current shareholders. So to me, Oclo is setting up for long-term growth in AI-focused nuclear power, but that path requires very deep pockets. Speaking of which, let's have a quick look at the financials. In the third quarter results released on November 11th, Oclo reported an operating loss of about $36 million, and that's roughly 200% higher than the same quarter last year. And this was driven by increased R&D spending along other general and administrative costs. The company currently holds around $1.2 billion in cash and marketable securities, with $526 million coming in from its previous at-the-money program. Even so, net losses also increased 200% to around $30 million, which translates to a loss of about $0.20 cents a share. And the real question that's coming from my Discord community is simple. Is Oclo actually moving forward? forward, or are they just treading water trying to stay afloat? Well, to answer that, we need to break down Oclo's catalysts and risks. Now, beyond the reactor itself, Oclo is positioned to benefit from government support, regulatory progress, strategic partnerships, and an expanding commercial pipeline. And a major driver is Oclo's involvement in the U.S. government's reactor pilot program. Oclo and its subsidiary, Atomic Alchemy, were selected for three projects under the Department of Energy. And this selection helps accelerate deployment timelines and provides operational data that's needed for future licensing. On September 22nd, Oclo officially broke ground on its first Aurora powerhouse at the Idaho National Laboratory. And this is the first of three projects awarded under the program. That same month, Oclo announced plans to build a fuel recycling facility in Tennessee as the first phase of an advanced fuel center. It's a privately funded project expected to cost about $1.68 billion, with production beginning in the early 2030s.
This facility is intended to supply fuel for Aurora powerhouses long term. In November, Oclo signed a binding contract with Siemens Energy to advance the power conversion system for the first Aurora powerhouse. Siemens will begin engineering, design, and early manufacturing of long lead components right away, and this will help keep Oclo on track for deployment. Oclo's also made some major commercial moves. Equinix signed an agreement to procure 500 megawatts of power from Aurora powerhouses. And Switch, a hyperscaler data center operator, signed a non-binding master power agreement with Oclo for a 12 gigawatt energy deal. Aurora powerhouses will supply energy to Switch facilities nationwide through multiple power purchase agreements. And together, these deals will just prove widespread demand for Oclo's reactors and recycling technology across both government and the commercial sectors. Of course, despite strong momentum, Oclo faces some real risks that us investors really need to understand. And the biggest question is timing. When will Aurora finally actually be delivered? Well, on paper, Oclo has an impressive lineup of agreements, but it hasn't delivered a single Aurora powerhouse to date. The first unit is expected online by 2027 or early 2028. But come on, nuclear development is not easy. It's very complex. Regulatory reviews, technical obstacles, construction delays, this is all par for the course. And these risks matter even more because Oclo is still pre-revenue and its losses are widening. I mean, quarter after quarter, you know, there's no sales, there's increasing expenses, and there's no clear timeline for when substantial revenue could begin. Most of Oclo's asset growth has come from issuing new shares. And the latest uh, ATM agreement, or at the money agreement, it now allows for up to $1.5 billion in new stock, and that signals more dilution ahead. For current investors, every new share just reduces their ownership percentage. It provides needed funding, but Oclo can't rely on share issuance forever. And these challenges are not unusual in energy startups. But the reality is that Oclo's success entirely depends on getting its Aurora powerhouses up and running. If they delivered, the upside could be huge. If progress stalls, Oclo could lose momentum before they even scale, which could push investors out of the story. Today, Oclo trades around $104, and it has fallen about 8% over the last month. But year-to-date, the stock is up 390%, and over the last 52 weeks, it's up 417%. So, in the long run, it's still up. But the question is, is it worth a buy today? Consider a uh, consensus among 19 analysts rate Oclo stock a moderate buy with a high price target of $175. So this suggests as much as 68% upside from here. The average score is 3.95 and is down slightly from four just three months ago. And Oclo, they've got some strong tailwinds, right? They've got government backing, they've got major commercial partnerships, and first mover advantage in small fission reactors. But it still has no operating reactor and depends heavily on outside funding. I'm also watching it closely because Oclo wants to issue another $1.5 billion in stock, and that signals they're gearing up for a large scale deployment. It also increases dilution risk, which I think investors really need to weigh carefully. So, what about you? Is Oclo a buy at these levels? And is dilution even a risk you're looking at right now? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, if you found the video helpful, do like and subscribe because it helps others find the video, it supports the channel, and you won't miss out on my next deep dive. Well, that's it for me today. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.